going to pursue that vigorously when he comes back. And in old premises, just like, for example, at the Sada College, Premper or whatever, whatever, he is going to make sure that any piece of land that they have, he is going to put up an e-block there to take in an extra 1,500 watt pupils. That's an alternative that should be admired. Not only admired, welcomed by Ghanaians. You understand? Because, oh, Jesus, what? The NPP has actually injured the dignity of the school going Ghanaian. And they claim that free SHS is their flagship core. They've destroyed the educational system of this country. For the first time, the Ghanaian, the taxpayers' money, is being used for only past questions. The so-called teachers that were put in place because of the free SHS have not been paid. They've not been paid. Why do you think we have strikes all over the place? Why? The mendacity of this current government from opposition to election time and in government. Lying, keep on lying, keep on lying, keep on deceiving Ghanaians. This is their fourth year. This is, this is, this is their fourth year. They don't need four more years. Now, compare the three years or the, compare the four years that they are getting into to the four years of John Mahama. I am not saying that they haven't looked at anything to enhance the Ghanaian. Yes, they have. How far have they gone with that? Can Baumia and Nana Akufuado, as you and I sit here and speak, can they actually compare themselves to John Muhammad's four years of good roads? You know, some when you ask them about roads, you know what they tell you? Oh, Koshe uh, uh, is Ligon Tunnel. You talk about roads, kilometers of roads, you talk about a few, uh, less than 100 meters of tunnel. Compare that to the good hospitals, regional hospitals, institutional hospitals, polyclinics. You understand? Compare those, your achievements to that. Compare them to uh, uh, the waterworks that we've done. Compare that to what we've done in education. Free textbooks, e blocks, name them. Are you getting what I'm trying to say? Now, in everything, we have done better. In everything, we have done better. You know, some even Baumia said in free SHS implementation, they've done better. That one alone tells you that, oh, free HSS has been implemented before. Because when you use the word better, it means you're comparing to something. You understand? So for me, uh, this country has to be rescued. And it is about time that the Ghanaian will look at where the economy is now. For the first time, this is where, when we have a 14-member committee to look at why the city was falling or is still falling, depreciating at a rate never seen before by the Ghanaian. Recently, Vice President Baumi said the city is depreciating at this rate because Ghana went to the IMF. When he was calling on Ghanaians to actually reject the NDC, referring to the exchange rate, we were down the corridors of the IMF. Why didn't he say that? Because he just can't speak the truth. Somebody that I have taken him to be a gentleman just can't speak the truth. You understand? You give that sort of excuse and then you go ahead and form a 40-member committee to investigate the depreciation of the city. It tells you that we are being led by incompetence. Vice President Baumia has proven himself to be uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, um, since or, or to be the 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 the, the most uh, incompetent vice president we've ever had in the Fourth Republic. Oh. A 
And what we are saying is true. The city, our committees, how Ghanaians are suffering. Really? I sleep with the folks, so I know what I'm talking about. Many It's not about the GDP, the market. It's not about the GDP. Today, when you are assessing the work of the an individual, it's the reality. Housing, which they have failed. Good health, which they have failed. Education, which they have failed. Technology, where they have, they can't speak to it. If you fail in the lives of an individual, yeah, on these four things, please stop talking about GDP. Stop mesmerizing Ghanaians with figures that they don't understand. Show the Ghanaian that yes, you are providing housing. Show the Ghanaian you are providing employment. Show the Ghanaian you are providing good education. Show to the Ghanaian that you are providing good health. Then the Ghanaian will know that yes, he, the Ghanaian, is wealthy. Dams have been built, factories have been built. Oh, dams, please. Investment drive please. Please. The minister in charge of the so called dams or the building of dams himself is saying that oh, money is uh, 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 assigned to that aren't enough. So they, they, are, they are building what um, I should say. You see, if you want district one factory, it's not the vision of the president. So the of it's not the vision of President Nanaku Fado. I'm telling you an authority. Who's, who's Nana, uh, what do you call him? My own cousin. Uh, what do you call uh, the gentleman? Uh, uh, um, for, for trade. Um, Alan. Alan Chomantin. Nanaku Fado has no vision. Nanaku Fado's vision is to once upon a time be the president of this country, whether he cares for the people or not. And he's proven to be careless. Why am I saying that he's proven to be careless? Assuming we are in the court of law. He's been careless because he promised us that he is going to make sure and protect the public purse. What do we see? 120 ministers being paid millions the alternative is that ex-president Mahama is telling you when I come back, I am even going to appoint lesser numbers than I did before. I am going to stop appointees from even buying government vehicles. Mm. 